Hi, my name is Sean Bodley with IBM. I'm part of the Power Advanced Technical Skills Team and I'm located out of Dallas, Texas. I'm a high availability and disaster recovery specialist and I'm about to demonstrate the non-disruptive upgrade capabilities of the PowerHA for AIX clustering software, now known as PowerHA System Mirror for AIX. Before I show the demo, let me give you a list of requirements and the steps to perform this non-disruptive upgrade. First, you must be at least version 5.4.0 or above. This version was introduced in version 5.4, so you can perform a non-disruptive upgrade from 5.4.0 to 5.4.1 to 5.5 or to the current version 6.1. The steps consist of stopping cluster services on one node using the unmanaged resource group options. I'm going to show you how to check the cluster manager state and the resource group state. Then actually perform the PowerHA version upgrade by simply running an update all. Restart cluster services using the option to manage the resource groups automatically. Then recheck the cluster manager status and the cluster resource group status. Then we'll actually repeat the step for the next node. But quickly, here's an overview of our environment. For our production system, we have a Power 7 770, which is actually running the SAP instance on a node known as SAP Demo 1. Our backup system is a Power 6 570, running our backup partition known as SAP Demo 2. Both systems are fully virtualized with dual VIO servers. And you can see the rest of the software levels that we're using here in the middle of this slide. So with that, let me get started with the demonstration. First off, on the top of the screen, you can see the WebSmith menu. On the left side, we can see the login sessions that I have both into SAP Demo 1. I can, I've already proven that Demo 1 is indeed a Power 7 770, denoted by the model type. And our backup system is indeed a Power 6 570. And then on the bottom right, I just have an SAP login session running, uh, just to show that I am actually logged into the application. Now, while not required, it's actually common practice to upgrade the backup node first. However, it doesn't matter which order you upgrade them in, but whatever process you decide, of course, you should test it in a test environment before you ever upgrade a production environment. So first, I'm going to show that we are indeed running version 5.5. And in our case, it's actually 5.5 SP3, which you can see here. Normally, the key factor is the cluster ES server RTE file set. So first thing I need to do is stop the cluster services in the unmanaged state. While I can do that from the login prompt, I'm also just going to show that I can indeed actually do this from WebSmith instead. So I chose SAP Demo 2, and now for the action, I'm going to tell it to unmanage the resource group. And we'll get a notification down here that the cluster services are being put into the unmanaged state. And let's check status of cluster manager. We can see here that it still says stable. But now we're seeing that SAP Demo 2 is now showing up in this force down node list. That's a direct result of stopping it in the unmanaged state. So I'm simply just changing over to the directory where all my version 6.1 install images are, and I'm ready to perform an update all.
Now, even though we're doing an upgrade, do you have to be sure to accept the new license agreement? And we'll let the upgrade run. Now, while this is running, I actually wanted to show the resources that are actually active on Demo 1. We have a, a volume group called SAP VG, which we can actually see both in WebSmith and here through the command line. The exact file systems that are part of our shared environment are these last four in the list here. And then I can also see that I actually have both Oracle and SAP processes running. Now, of course, nothing I'm doing on the backup system would affect the production system, but I just wanted to maximize the time of the demo and actually show that indeed everything is up and running on the primary system. We do also have a service IP address which is called SAP Demo 3 that corresponds to this 213 address, as you can see here. So during this upgrade, we're not going to move the resources at all. We're not going to stop the application. The whole key to the non-disruptive upgrade is, of course, being non-disruptive. You can do this in a live production environment without having to bring the resources and or the application offline. So you can see here through WebSmith, nothing has changed in my cluster status during this upgrade. I can also prove that, that though I'm performing the update and I did an unmanage on demo two, that indeed demo one is aware that demo two is also down in the four state. So cluster stable, Demo 2 is still down in the force state, and just for grins, I will show that the resource group is still showing indeed online on Demo 1. So now the update just completed on Demo 2. That just took a few minutes for that to run. So now I'm ready to re restart the services on demo two with the automatic manage resource group options. Again, I can do it through ASCII Smith command line or I can do it through WebSmith. I just am continuing to show this through WebSmith. So I can leave all the defaults here. Manage resource group is already set to automatically and I will tell it to execute. And just about any time I do a start and stop, I generally like to tail the logs. And the key log is the HACMP.out, which is in var HACMP log. And I like to see when I get the uh, note up complete message. And if I go back and now check my cluster status again, you will see I no longer have a force down list showing up. So I do currently have what's called a mixed cluster. I have version 6.1 running on the backup node, and I have version 5.5 running on the primary node. So now I'm going to repeat the steps for SAP Demo 1, which is now stop cluster services again in the unmanaged state. Tell it to unmanage the resource groups. And I can see that nothing is changing in my WebSmith view. Resources are not being affected. You can see I can still click around and do things in SAP. I will come back and show that again while the update is actually running. So now we can see SAP Demo 1 has showed up in the force down list. 
the resource group is now showing an unmanaged. And now I'm ready to perform the update on the primary system. I'm going to make sure I don't have a old dot talk file sitting around. So now I'll perform and update all. Again, choose the license agreement. and let it run. Now while this is running, again, this will take a couple of minutes for it to run. I can see that SAP Demo 2 is aware of the status. It says SAP Demo 1 is in the force down state. The resource group is in the unmanaged state. I can still perform operations over in my SAP window to tell me my SAP is still running. And at no point is my actual cluster affected, but you can see now that since SAP Demo 1 was indeed hosting the resource group, you see this new little status kind of grayed out the resource group and is now showing this unmanaged. This is one of the few times that you'll actually ever see this status through WebSmith. So the update is just about to complete. There we go, it's now finished. Now I will simply restart cluster services again on demo one. Again, it defaults to manage resource group automatically. I will accept that. And you can see on demo two while that's starting that it's already showing that the local node version is now running 6.0. If I come back over here to demo one, must still be restarting. There we go. It's now saying that it's joining, so it hasn't completed yet. Let's run it one more time. Now you can see it's it's still in transition. That's also now the resource group just changed to showing that it's uh, on. It's showing that it's back in the managed state. It was never offline, but now we can see that the version is 6.1.0. And I can also verify that through the cluster output. And if I check the resource group info, showing me that the resource group is online. The resources have been online the whole time. It's just during this process, they were temporarily in the unmanaged state, which means the cluster software was no longer monitoring it while we were performing this update. So both nodes has now been upgraded to version Six one, and the whole time production has been up and running. So with that, I'm going to conclude this demonstration today, and I hope you found that of value.